Hey guys, and welcome to some more Ultra Modded Survival. This is episode 7, I believe. And in this episode, we're going to do something that I've been avoiding for quite some time. And that is our obsidian problem. You see, I lost my tool because in between the last episode and this one, I was doing some resource collection, like farming, mining, all that stuff. And there's my broken pickaxe. This will be our pool of broken tools. Because turns out if you use cobblestone for um if you use cobblestone only for like one part of the tool, you can't use that to repair the entire tool. So we're gonna use some other resource and more of it to make a tool that we can repair pretty easily and so what I really want to use is obsidian because not only wait a minute if I remember co cor correctly obsidian is a level higher than a lot of the stuff so let's see so we know that obsidian is a uh, durability of 89, mining speed 3, level 3. So we can mine obsidian with obsidian, of course. So compare that to copper, which is mining speed 5, level iron. Hmm. Mining speed 5 versus mining speed 7. Okay. Well, I don't know about you guys, but I'm pretty sure obsidian throws... Well, no. Copper is very good at durability. So, hmm. I think we're just going to use a copper... What's it called? copper binding yeah we'll just make a copper binding the rest we'll make out of obsidian because I don't know what else we can make right now that has some pretty amazing oh wait no bronze bronze is 350 obsidian is 89 so it's still quite a bit better what was it looking at copper boring mining speed 7 mining level 2 wait yeah no we want a higher mining level, so obsidian's better. But, so, actually, we can just make the tool rod out of bronze and the rest obsidian, because handle modifier, I think that's a tool rod thing. So we're going to make a bronze tool rod with obsidian head and binding. And I think... That should be good. I'm surprised Obsidian has such a th such a low durability, but I can't really complain. It's and full tool is 71, so we're not gonna make the full tool Obsidian. So how are we gonna make Obsidian if we don't have diamonds and we don't have Obsidian? Well, we kind of do because. In the live stream, we managed to find huzzah lava. Lots of it. I started draining from over there, but we have a lot of lava, which solves our lava problem. I s put some in these tanks right here for quick access, and just so you guys can see, we have a lot of metals. Doesn't look like it because a lot of it is condensed into blocks and stuff. But if you pause right now and look, you can see it's a fair amount of a lot of stuff. Most of the stuff we're actually going to use pretty soon. But again, how we're going to make obsidian without being able to mine it? Well, we're not going to mine it. Mining obsidian is terrible and 
Um, I don't think I want this. Whoops. Just put you back because yeah, it was a mistake. Oh well. I thought it would just pick up like water. Didn't think it would pick up like magical water. So we need to find water. Thankfully, we have a river nearby. Just gotta hope. Ooh, a slime. It's interesting. But it fell off from the. What's it called? So let's take your slime. Come on. Come on. Just here to take your slime. No big deal. And you guys drop a lot. Hello. It's kind of cruel, but slime is always useful, especially with pistons and whatnot. But I did manage to find a green slime underground. So we have some of those too. Let me go to that chest very quick. Not this one. Here. 10 slime. And then we have gelatinous slime. Whatever. And so, again, how we're gonna make obsidian? We're just gonna make it. We're not gonna mine it. Just make it, have it pop out. All that good stuff. So, now that we have the water, we can make our water source. Let's make it under this tree right here. I'm not sure this is a good idea, but it's good, of, good enough an idea for me. So we'll just put the water, one corner, the other corner, and we have water source. So, final thing we have to do is, oh shoot, I forgot, we need glass. <sighs> I'll be right back, let me get some sand. And we are back with more sand. Just need it very quick for some glass. We have two there. So we're going to let that make it. And so actually what we're going to make has been in not enough items the entire time. It's been just right there. You might have noticed, might have not. Anyway, this is it. The Ignis Extruder. Requires some glass, a piston, tin, pneumatic servo, which requires more glass, iron, redstone, and yeah. So let's make that stuff. But we're going to have to go to sleep soon, unfortunately, but it shouldn't be too bad. Get some of that. And we have enough for a piston, so let's make the piston very quick. Of course. It just wouldn't show up. Nope. Okay. All right, we don't have the iron. Forgot iron is pretty important for this recipe. Come on, hurry up. Hurry up, hurry up. Okay. We are good. Even though that zombie just wants a piece of us and it's going to get murked. And you're done. Now let's make... Wait, one last thing I want to check on Obsidian. I wonder how its attack is. Because I want to make a sword too soon. So Obsidian... I think we passed it, but Bronze. Bronze's attack is... One heart. Base attack is one heart. So... Let's see what Obsidian is base attack is one heart as well so let's try out obsidian why not when our because we can't repair our sword or our matic under the same principle because bronze is an infinite so we are gonna throw them into the pool when they break as well but at least it's gonna be somewhat ceremonious but yeah so we have glass, we have iron, we have a whole bunch of stuff. So I think we can actually make, yep, we got a piston ready. We got, oh yeah, gold. 
So much stuff for... Nope. Looks like gold, but it's not. Gold is shiny. So we need to make this. Which we got. Perfect. Make this. Forgot we need 10. Always forget. Always. Um, that should be everything. What are we missing? Machine. Oh yeah, we didn't make this. Machine. And then... What's wrong? Ten. Da, 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 da. Why is it... What's wrong? Oh, I know. It still kept the iron from the recipe. There we go. Igneous extruder. So, unlike most machines, this one doesn't need power. It just runs. So, let's put it over here. Because why not? Set it to obsidian. And then we just fill it up. And then it's going to start making obsidian. And you guys will see that in just a moment. See? Making obsidian. So just going to deposit as much lava as we can. Now some water. And yeah, it just takes lava and water and turns them into obsidian. It doesn't make more than obsidian normally costs. Like, it will make one obsidian from one bucket of each. So it's pretty fair. It just saves you the time of having to mine it out, which is nice. How are we doing? One of each. But yeah, this is how we are going to have our obsidian pretty easy to get. So now we have obsidian. Let's make our obsidian tools. So like we did earlier. So I'm thinking. Hmm. So we said. The handle is going to be copper. And then, I mean bronze, and then the rest is obsidian so we can repair it. So, let's take the stencil, we need the guard, and we need the pickaxe. Make obsidian parts. So we got the binding and the shard. And the shard is just used for, it's basically half an item basically. So, you can use this to make another guard, binding, or whatever you want to call it. And yeah. I really should make this into a chest for the, what's it called, chest? The stencil chest. Let me see if there's an easy way to do that. Uh, sten... No. Let me see, chest. Let's see how to make this pattern chest. Yeah, why not? We can do that. We could easily do that. So let's break you. And we're back. I just made a quick cut because it was pretty much a mess once I broke the chest. But I put that one down. All is good. Unfortunately, that just holds the stencil. That doesn't hold the parts, which I was hoping it could do. But, oh well. Now I just have a chest for all the stencils we could possibly make. And so, let's see, we have the parts, I think, is in this chest. We dropped them off, yeah. We have this and this. And then we need to put some bronze to heat up. Hmm. Hmm. Sure. Let's make you. And then, put you in. Go to sleep real quick because monsters are always a pain. Always, you can't avoid them. Anyway, so switch that out for 
tool rod? Yeah, I think it was a tool rod. Why do I have two? Oh yeah, my mistake. So, wait, no. We don't need tool rod. We just need the cast. So we're gonna have a little bit of bronze left over. I don't know, we're gonna use it for probably the sword. Actually, yeah, let's just make two of them, because why not? So drain, make one of you. Make another one. If anything, I think we can just melt down the rods again. But yeah, so we got you. And now we can put it all together. So pickaxe, bam, bam, bam. And we have our pickaxe. We just put the bronze back over here. Not there. What'd I do? Where'd it go? Oh, it just went to my hot bar. Whoops. Ah. So, why don't we just see how good this is at mining obsidian? So, let's put a block down. And let's see. It's not too bad. Yeah, it's not the best in the world, but I think it's not that bad. Yeah. And three attack damage, which is interesting. And yeah, we finally have ourselves an obsidian tool, which let's just double check this. I'd rather not assume. Put this with this. Wait. It says there's no... Hmm. Oh, is that what reinforced is? I think reinforced makes it so there's lesser of a chance that it will actually get damaged. Like... As a low durability, but the durability is like so. The durability is 115, and the mining speed is seven. All that stuff, but since it's reinforced three, that means there's a chance that when you use it, it won't use up the durability. Like unbreaking, that's how unbreaking works. So, I think that's how Reinforced works. So, yeah. We have a pretty awesome pickaxe. That we can just repair, hopefully. Sh we should be able to. So, yeah. That is essentially what I wanted to do. I wonder if you can make obsidian armor. Let me see real quick. No. Let me double check, make sure there's no other way. Obsidian. Chest. No. Let's just look up chest plate. So here's all our options for armor. So far we're at bronze. Can we copper? I don't believe. Moth scale. That might be interesting. Experience. When I make experience, emerald and bottles of enchanting. Bottles of enchanting come from intellect drops. Wait, what? It's weird. But yeah, I wonder what uh experience chest plate does. Not too worried anyway though. But we're getting ahead of ourselves. We can't really do much right now <laughs> with what we got. But we have a pretty OP pickaxe. Not bad. Let's see, what else can we do? Um, we did obsidian. We could go into another. You guys want to do that? Hmm. I don't know, give me one second. So, I've decided against going into the nether for a couple of reasons. The number one being, I want it to have its own episode, and I don't really know where I want the portal to be. So we're going to save the nether for another episode, but I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you guys did, leave a like down below, leave a comment, let me know what you guys think, and I want to see you guys in the next episode. I don't think it's going to be nether, but it should be something interesting. We'll see what I come up with.
See ya.